Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I hope you're doing well. Just a short video here, just to update the review I did on the Texan PL330. That review went down really, really well. I thought it would. I know a lot of you have this radio and you really like it, and I can see why. It is a great little performer for a pocket radio. But there's some very, very interesting comments. And I do read all of all of the comments. And a few of you guys picked up on some of the features of the radio that um, a, a few that I missed, and some that aren't all that obvious, little like little Easter egg features, if you like. So that's what I want to show you on this video. Three additional features which um, really help the workings of the radio. The first one concerns the backlight, and this is kind of obvious because there is a little backlight symbol here on the radio itself. But basically, when you've got the radio switched on, if you want the backlight to remain on all the time, you just hold down button 5 for a few seconds and then it says on did you see that and now the backlight will stay on the radio the whole time you use it until you shut the radio down and then you have to reset that again and that's quite a really good useful feature now the next um, feature I need your help with because I'm not sure if I'm doing this right when you go on to medium wave it says or you, you guys said if I hold down button 3 for a few seconds you can then select either the internal ferrite rod an antenna or the telescopic whip antenna. Now I'll just do it in a second, but I do get something come up on the screen, but I'm not sure what that is referring to. So let me just come out of sideband for a minute here because we're in uh, sideband. Right, there we go. So yeah, so I'll hold down button three There we go, and I get CHA, which I assume the A might be for the antenna. There is a little antenna symbol on the screen, that doesn't change. So it's A for, I don't know, outdoor. And then uh, if I hold down it again, hold down the button again, I get CH5 or CHS. So I'm assuming that the A and the S is for external and internal, but I'm not quite sure which way round that is. If, if you know the answer, just let me know in the comments because I'm really, really interested. Now, this final tip, and I think this is so useful on sideband, and I missed this on the review. So let's, let's say we're up on upper sideband, and let's say that radio propagation on the day is a little bit high, so people are coming in uh, a little bit Mickey Mouse, a little bit high, or maybe they're coming in a little bit low. So what you normally have to do is by step, pressing the step button there you change to the fine tune and then you have to fine tune them in so let's say for example let's imagine that they were coming in clear at 0.25 now if I was then to go back to the the main tuning and because most most radio operators are going to use um, standard tuning so they're going to most likely be on sort of say four four six five or four seventy if I went up to four six five then I'd have to do that again. I would have to fine tune them in again. However, and this is really clever, if you hold down the upper sideband or lower sideband, depending what you want, but we're on upper sideband, if you hold the key down just for a few seconds, the radio flashes there. There you go. That has now zeroed the scale, but it will remember whatever offset you put in. So we put in a 0.25 offset. That has now been remembered and it's zeroed the scale, which makes tuning easier. So for now, all I need to do, for example, press the step key, go back to one kilohertz. Let's say my next um, station I will listen to is, let's just say 470. When I go up to 470, that offset has now been remembered. And in theory, if the conditions are the same, and it should be across the band, that station will now be coming in clear. I mean, if it's not, then I'll just press step again twice. And then I can just very, very fine tune the offset. But it should be pretty much spot on. That's a really, really, really good feature. So I hope that helps a few of you out. If there are any other features on the radio, little Easter egg hidden features that you know, just let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll make another video. And as I say, if you do understand that switching of that internal medium wave antenna, if you understand what those symbols mean on the screen, 
that would help me out as well. But that's it for this video. As always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well. It's a sun Sunday when I'm making this video. So please, please, please stay safe. There's the old thumb. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.